um, the suspect who was involved in the number of murders, the one who I called earlier a serial killer, uh, was seen by a clerk at the bookstore. He'd been there in the past. Uh, in the past, he would uh, ingest what uh, he described as smoking uh, rock cocaine. On today's date, no evidence that he was doing that. However, he was in there and they wanted him to leave. But they recognized him from uh, news reports. So at that point, um, uh, 12 precinct responded in very quickly. A couple of our neighborhood police officers were first on the scene. Uh, he had already left the location, so they began to check the area. At some point, they became aware that he may have crossed 8 Mile into the city of Oak Park. Uh, he did do that. Uh, we then, as we continued our search, certainly with the assistance from Oak Park, uh, we then began to search the area. And at some point, Oak Park and our officers, after there was a canine search, saw him. Uh, he began to evade the officer's uh, attempt to uh, detain him. At some point, as he jumped the fence and went into a rear yard of a residence, he fired a single shot uh, into his head uh, where he lay. At this point, the suspect is being treated at a local hospital. Uh, and so, great work by everybody. Again, this, this thing has really been uh, demanding on our assets since Friday. Let me give you just how this thing started. We'll go back in time. So in January, January 8th, uh, there was a fatal shooting of a victim. Uh, and then later on February, or I'm sorry. Somebody's talking, sorry. Okay. So then from January 8th, that was the first shooting incident. Where was that one at? Uh, that was in the city of River Rouge. And then on February 2nd, there was a second incident where there were two fatal shootings, again in the city, both in the city of River Rouge. And then on, on February 18th, there was a single fatal shooting uh, in Highland Park, the city of Highland Park. And then on February 20th was the first shooting incident in the city of Detroit in the 9th Precinct, single fatal shooting. And then on uh, February 21st, there were two separate carjacking incidents uh, within 19 minutes of one another. And so then it was the last one. Yeah, that's it. So what we're talking about is six fatal shootings, one non-fatal shooting, and two carjackings. And so two uh, shootings in the city of Detroit, uh, the remainder River Rouge, as well as outside partners, uh, the FBI, ATF, Michigan State Police, and again, Oak Park, uh, and bringing this thing to some closure. And also, I did uh, leave out one murder on the 22nd of February. That was the last one in the 11th precinct, and that was over a drug, uh, drug debt. So with that, I'll take any questions you might have. Can you talk about just how just incredible it is, I mean, that these people that were at the bookstore uh, notified your office. Work. We're talking about multiple cities, and you know, recognizing this suspect, recognizing from your reports on television, called us and quickly uh, our neighborhood. Also, the support from Oak Park uh, bringing this to some closure. So, and just great work all around. Any word what condition the suspect is in? Uh, he's in critical. Uh, he is still alive in our last report, but he is in critical condition. Again, a single gunshot wound to the head. And he, he just probably, he figured at that point, I imagine, he did, there was no way out. He was cornered. I can't speak on what was in his head at the time, but I will tell you that. Uh, involved in a, a mission several days ago. 
assisting Highland Park, uh, and he was not at that level. We have uh, Chief James Craig here along with his partners here. to arrest indicated that